Awesome, awesome guitar. I, you know, I've been playing this thing here now for a couple of weeks. It's been in my studio, and I have loved every single second of it. This is a Joey Leone Superfast from Eastwood Guitars. There's a link below. Make sure you hit that. Um, but this is the signature Joey Leone model, and this is a very, very cool semi-hollow body guitar. Brand new guitar. Um, with some very interesting features. So I want to talk about that really quickly. Let me dial up a nice clean tone here for you. Um, all right, so when it comes to the setup here, this is what makes this guitar very unique and I think a lot more versatile than your standard semi hollow body. So um, anyway, so volume here for this pickup, volume here is for this pickup. Now these two switches in the middle, this is the big deal. So in the middle position, they are off. In the bottom position, normal on, pickup, normal humbucker on. In the up position, coil tapped. This is normal on, coil tap. Turn that one off. Go down to the bridge pickup. That's normal. Here's tapped. So what you should be hearing is that it's getting a lot brighter than a normal humbucker typically gets, and that's because they are coil tapped. Um, so that's a very interesting thing that I haven't ever seen on any semi hollow body guitar. So I don't know if this was like Joey Leone's idea or the engineers at Eastwood, but hey, big thumbs up to whoever came up with this idea because this is very, very hip, very cool, innovative thing on a semi hollow body, which is, you know, you don't really see a lot of people pushing the envelope on semi hollow bodies but the guys at eastwood definitely did um you know otherwise a pretty straight you know straight ahead normal looking semi hollow body guitar although i will say it is very pretty um and this thing right here very cool this is just a you know a little plate of wood uh that's been stained and has joey leone's autograph uh burned into it just a nice little you know accent chrome over glossy black you can never go wrong with very very sexy and, um, you know, the neck is very nice, very fast. It's a little bit um, bigger than, you know, some of the semi hollow bodies I've played. But I don't want to, again, I don't want to make you think this is a big neck. This is sort of a medium sized neck. Uh, and then, you know, definitely jumbo sized frets on here, which I'm always a huge fan of big frets. Uh, really nice. Yeah, that's all I can say. This is a very nice guitar. Now, next thing I wanted to talk about is going to maybe get me in a little bit of trouble i don't know who's going to be upset about it but if you are i'm sorry but you know this guitar was made in korea all these eastwood guitars eastwood guitars that i've been showing you um and going to continue showing you are made in korea now you know as you know i'm extremely picky about my instruments and i'm going to say that previous to the eastwood guitars nothing out of korea impressed me and i'm talking Specifically, I'm talking about the Gretches that are made in Korea, and I don't want to upset anybody. If you have one and you love it, then good for you. I haven't played that particular guitar, so maybe it's a good one. I don't know. All of the ones that I played before, I was just kind of like, 
these are junk. Like it just doesn't feel like a good guitar under your hands. The frets are grindy and the strings are cheap and just everything about it. Just sort of the finish is bad and da 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 da. A long list. I had a long list of you know whiny complaints from a nerdy guitar player, which is definitely what I am. Um, but you know what? This changed my mind. These guitars, these Eastwoods totally changed my mind about like just writing off anything from Korea, which is what I used to do in the past. Then I got these guitars in my studio and I started playing them and I was like, these are all very cool and they all sound great and they play great and they look great. So, you know, there's that, you know, I don't want to upset any of you. <laughs> I really hope I didn't upset anybody, but it's true. These changed my mind. So, so anyway, let's run through some tones before I offend everybody. <laughs> Awesome. I can tell you, you know, it feels as good as it hopefully sounds to you. Um, let me give you one sample here because I think it's important. You know, this is a jazzy style guitar, so I think it's important that I give you a, sort of a jazz demo. Um, you know, let's just do that. that warm beautiful round tone to it and like i keep saying it changed my mind about korean guitars <laughs> this is an awesome guitar you guys uh i can't express it enough oh, these guitars that i'm showing you i know i keep saying all the same things it's because my vocabulary is limited but i'm only showing you cool guitars so you're gonna hear me saying a lot of the same stuff you know somebody you know maybe if you want me to go review a crappy guitar just to hear me say some bad stuff once in a while um <laughs> you know what i mean but i try to only review things i like on my channel and trust me i've been sent some stuff or i've gone to you know test some stuff and i've just like no i don't want to give you a bad review so um that's why i sort of have that broken record problem You know what basic guitar thing here so this is a very very cool guitar if you're somebody that's sort of looking for a uh, medium priced semi hollow body guitar like if you're thinking epiphone dot or you know sheraton or something you should definitely absolutely positively be checking out the joey leone model from eastwood guitars because it definitely deserves your attention this is a very reasonably priced guitar especially for what you get it it it's very, very nicely made, sounds great, plays great, all you can ask for out of a good guitar. So you guys, that's it. Thanks, as always, for watching. Um, more guitars coming tomorrow. I can't wait. Uh, I'll talk to you later. See you guys.